All right, we're back for another fun day of math with Tuco the Math Cat and me, Mr. Nickerson. Okay, so do you remember the story of Hansel and Gretel that we heard? I know it's been a while, it's before spring break. So if you need to stop this video now, go back and watch that one, and then you can come back and join us. But if you do remember, okay, Tuco, go on your path. So, in the story of Hansel and Gretel, they're going out into the woods, and what did they drop so that they would be able to find their path? Yeah, breadcrumbs. So they left breadcrumbs, but there was a problem. What happened to some of those breadcrumbs? Yeah, they were disappearing. Maybe birds were getting them, or maybe Tuco, the math cat who really loves snacks, was coming along and taking some of the breadcrumbs. Um, so Hansel and Gretel uh, also used pine cones. Now, I could see why it would be easier than trying to go and find hundreds of pine cones. Uh, it would be easy to use breadcrumbs. You can just take a couple pieces of bread and you can get lots of breadcrumbs out of just a couple pieces of bread. So the pine, the breadcrumbs kept disappearing uh, and someone was eating them. Maybe it was Tuco, um, but they could use pine cones every five steps. Now, today I'm gonna show you a path and it's been marked with pebbles, pine cones, and breadcrumbs. Remember, pebbles went every 10 steps, pine cones went every five steps, and breadcrumbs went every one step. So I'm gonna show you what this path looks like, and then we're just gonna take a little bit of time to look at it and make some observations. For today's lesson, you're going to need a pencil and a piece of paper. So make sure you have that with you now while we do the video. If you don't have it, pause the video now, go grab it and come back. If you do have it, then you are ready to go to the next part. Okay, here's our path with breadcrumbs, pine cones, and pebbles. I want you to examine the path and share some of your observations. How many pine cones do you see? How many steps are between each pine cone? How many pebbles do you see? How many breadcrumbs are there between a pine cone and a pebble? How many breadcrumbs are there in all? Well, let's take a look at some of the answers to those questions. You can see that we have a key on the bottom left. That tells us a breadcrumb for every one step, a pine cone for every five steps, and a pebble for every 10 steps. Have you ever seen a pine cone? I have some in my backyard right now. I'll show you one at the end of the video. So a pine cone is five steps, and a pebble is every 10 steps. I see one, two, three, four pine cones, and I see one, two, three pebbles on our path. How many breadcrumbs are in between the pine cone and the pebble? Well, let's take a look. Point to one of the pine cones. Now, let's count how many breadcrumbs come before we get to a pebble? I'm looking at the pine cone on the top. I see one, two, three, four breadcrumbs, and now there's a pebble. So in between the pine cone and the pebble is four breadcrumbs. Now, 
Do you see those empty boxes? Those are our mystery boxes. Our job now is going to be to figure out what number would go in those boxes. So if we look at the beginning of our path, we can see the number one pointing to the first breadcrumb. So let's think, what would that next mystery box be pointing to? What number do you think would go there? If you need to pause to figure it out, go ahead. Now that you've had time to think, what number would go in that box? Yeah, it would be the number three. We can just count the breadcrumbs. One, two, three. So what would go in the next box? Hmm, I see the arrow is pointing to a pine cone. What kind of numbers go on the pine cones? Can you count on from the three and see what number goes into the box pointing at that pine cone? Okay, let's take a look at the next box. Hmm, I see that arrow is pointing to a pebble. I wonder, do we have to count to figure out what that number is? Looking back, I see that there's a pine cone there and that number is five. So the next pebble, pebbles always come on 10 steps. After five, the next 10 would be 10. Okay, we got that one. Now take a look at my arrow pointing to the next mystery box that I want us to do. We're gonna skip ahead a little bit. Now, I want you to pause the video and think about what number would go in that box that I'm pointing to. Okay, now that you've had time to think, which number goes in that box that I'm pointing to? How do you know? When I think about it, I see that we figured out that that other pebble was 10. Now we know that pine cones come every five steps, so that pine cone would be 15. Then I can count on from 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so into that box would go 18. Now I want you to take a look at the next box I'm pointing to. What number would go in that box? Is it pointing to a breadcrumb, a pine cone, or a pebble? That's right, it's pointing to a pebble. And pebbles come every 10 steps. So the first pebble we caught was 10. What pebble would this be? Hmm, look at the breadcrumb that comes before it. We just figured out it was 18. One, two more breadcrumbs. Hmm, so if we were counting by tens, every pebble, 10 after 10 comes 20. So if that's 20, let's take a look at the next pebble. What? number would go in that box. Remember, the pebbles are counting by tens. It would be the number 30. When we're counting by tens, the first pebble is 10, the second pebble is 20, the third pebble is 30. We always count by tens on pebbles. But who remembers what we count on pine cones? Take a look all the way back at the beginning of the trail. What number did we point on that pi first pine cone? That's right, five. So pine cones are always on steps of five. So let's take a look. What number goes in this box? Now. I want you to tell me what number would go in that box. A clue is that because it's a pine cone, that means it will have a five in it because pine cones happen every five steps. So, pause the video. What number goes in that box?
Now that you've had time to think, what number was it? How did you know? Yeah, so the last box should be 35. Okay, now, I want you to pause the video and fill in all the rest of the missing boxes. Then we'll come back together and talk about our answers. Pause the video now. Now let's take a look at some of our answers that we got. Do you see 24? See, I knew that was 24 because a pine cone has to have a five in it. So I knew that since it came after 20, it would be 25. So one before it would be 24, and one after it would be 26. Just like I knew that the other breadcrumb at the bottom would be 31, because it's one breadcrumb after the pebble. The pebble is a 10, so it was 30. One more breadcrumb would be 31. Now, you're going to go and do a page in your student book that I'll show you in a moment. You'll have to fill in missing numbers for breadcrumbs, pine cones, and pebbles. Remember, a breadcrumb is a 1, a pine cone is a 5, and a pebble is a 10. Okay, let's take a look at the page that you'll have to complete in your workbook. This is your exit ticket for today. This is activity on page 58 in your student workbook. In number one, it asks how many breadcrumbs, pine cones, and pebbles will you need to mark 10 steps? I need mm breadcrumbs to make 10. I need mm pine cones to make 10. I need mm pebbles. Think about it. Breadcrumbs come every one step, pine cone every five steps, pebbles every 10 steps. For number two, you'll fill in the missing numbers based on the number that they give you. Use that number and think. Remember, use your key. Breadcrumbs for one, pine cones for fives, pebbles for tens. Then number three is a little different. It's not asking for a number. It wants to know what symbol would go in the circle. You can see in the box it says what belongs in each circle. P for pebble, PC for pine cone, or B for breadcrumb. So it's C, you can see that it gives you the number 86. So your job in the circle next to it is to put either P for pebble, PC for pine cone, or B for breadcrumb. Remember, a pebble, P, will be a number that's a 10 number or decade number. PC or pine cone will be a number that has a five in it. And B for breadcrumb will be all the rest of the ones. So your job is to put P, C, or B. Number four is the challenge question. It's asking how many pebbles, pine cones, and breadcrumbs would you need to mark the first 30 steps on the trail? So you'd have to figure it out. How many breadcrumbs would you need if you were counting up to 30? How many pine cones would go on that path? How many pebbles would go on that path? You can fill in the missing numbers. It might help to draw it. So, use your paper and pencil to do so. Okay. Well, that's it for today for me and Tuco the Math Cat. Tuco, say bye. Tuco says bye. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Here. This is a pine cone. They're all over my yard. So, I hope you remember our lesson today. The breadcrumbs go on the one steps, the pine cones go on the five steps, and the pebbles go on the 10 steps. Go ahead, fill out your student workbook. Make sure to take a nice clear picture and upload it to Class Dojo for your exit ticket. All right, see you next time.